Hello, very happy to meet you again in a not so pleasant video for humanity. Human exist peacefully depends on many factors. From basic necessities for survival such as air to breathe, food and water, to the mass of the Earth, the intensity of gravitational force on the Earth's surface, the Earth's position in the solar system, oxygen concentration in the air, the quantity of water and fish in the seas and oceans, to the presence of the Moon and its gravitational force. In addition to the above factors, we have just discovered another factor without which humans will certainly not be at ease. Welcome to what will happen if friction disappears. Before we get into the non-stop laughter that the absence of friction brings, let's make sure that everyone watching this video knows what friction is. Friction is the resistance to sliding motion between solid surfaces, layers of fluid, and material elements. Friction is present in every corner of life. Objects staying in place, not shifting, are thanks to friction. Sitting down, standing up, holding a burger, and even the crispy chicken strip in your hand, all thanks to friction. The movement of vehicles is possible due to the dynamic system, transmission system, four wheels, and of course, friction. Pieces of wood rubbing against each other generating fire, also thanks to the active rotation and friction. So what will happen if friction suddenly disappears from the universe? One word, chaos. Everything that is not fixed will fall to the lowest point possible, including humans, animals, vehicles, furniture. All will slide down to the lowest point. Tasks that were once simple are now impossible. You can't cling or lean on anything to sit up, let alone stand up. Even crawling is impossible because now everything is smoother than greased. People climbing mountains or a little lower, climbing trees, climbing walls will immediately fall to the ground. Vehicles at a standstill will be completely unable to move as desired. Wheels will spin but absolutely not move forward. Moving vehicles will not be able to accelerate and worse, they won't be able to stop. All subways, trains, ships, cars, motorcycles, and bicycles will continue to move at their current speed or accelerate if going downhill, plunging to the lowest points on their journey. The consequence is millions of people die in various accidents. At construction sites, scaffolding will collapse, dragging down numerous workers. Building materials will start falling from high floors, posing a danger to people below. In the sky, nearly 10,000 uncontrollable commercial airplanes will begin to fall. Of course, this is just the beginning. <coughs> Humans cannot hold on to anything, meaning we cannot do that. And of course, giving birth is impossible. But thinking about such distant matters when survival itself is not assured is futile. You can abstain from food for one to three weeks, but abstaining from water is only possible for three to five days. This means that humanity will be extinct after just a few days. However, millions of people may perish before this deadline. You may not know that friction is a necessary condition for some basic activities in the human body. When the body is injured, healthy cells are generated and sent to the wound to replace dead or damaged cells. Or when pathogens invade the body, the immune system sends white blood cells, the body's self-sacrificing warriors, to fight. To reach the wound or the site of infection, the body's cells need to be transported via a type of force. And coincidentally, that force is friction. Without friction, the body's wounds will not heal. A weakened immune system can cause multiple organ failure and kill you before thirst. And that's not the worst part. We all die one way or another, but without friction, the fabric on my clothes and yours will disintegrate into individual threads. All buttons will loosen and come off, pants, zippers, and shirt buttons, too. And so, nearly 8 billion people in the world will depart without a single piece of fabric covering them. Similarly, like the threads in clothing, wall nails held by friction will fall. In a broader sense, structures connected, assembled, or manufactured with bolts, screws, or nails will disintegrate and break down into individual parts. Structures using rivets and welding joints will remain intact, such as some bridges, car frames, motorcycles, and boats may still be intact. Expanding a bit, buildings with load-bearing structures made of reinforced concrete, such as solid houses, arches, underground tunnels, and skyscrapers, will basically remain unharmed. On the less positive side, without friction, you won't need toilet paper every time you go to the bathroom, as nothing will stick to those places anymore. The heat generated by machines during operation comes from friction due to mechanical parts. Engine oil, gearbox oil, Lubricants in general are created to minimize friction and mechanical wear, increasing the lifespan of machines. Without friction, machines, in essence, will be immortal. Moreover, earthquakes will permanently disappear. What? 
Earthquakes are formed because the Earth's upper layers are constantly moving and dragging the upper crust along with them. During drifting, friction causes the tectonic plates to sometimes get stuck at the boundary of the two plates, often called fracture. When the energy of the tectonic plates becomes large enough to overcome friction, they suddenly slide past each other, releasing a huge amount of energy at the fracture line. This energy spreads through the Earth as seismic waves and forms earthquakes. Without friction, the tectonic plates can now move smoothly and no longer get stuck at the fracture. And things don't stop here. It may sound ridiculous, but all the content presented from the beginning of the video until now sounds persuasive. But in reality, it won't happen. Or more precisely, it won't have time to occur. Because the moment the Almighty decides to turn off friction in the entire universe, what? all living beings and all ordinary matter in the universe will immediately disintegrate into atomic subunits, such as electrons and atomic nuclei. But why is that? Perhaps you didn't notice, but the force of friction at the microscopic level is essentially a type of electromagnetic interaction, or precisely, the force of electromagnetism. We know that friction occurs when surfaces rub against each other. A seemingly flat surface to the naked eye can appear super flat and smooth, but at the microscopic level, any surface has a certain degree of roughness with deformations, resembling mountain peaks and valleys. When a solid surface slides on another solid surface, elements at the interlocking position aligns with each other. The peaks of this surface will line up with the valleys of the other surface and mesh together like gears in a system. This overly close contact stimulates a large number of atoms and elements on the surface, making them change energy states from neutral to being electrified. As a result, it causes the two surfaces to stick together by the electromagnetic force. As the two surfaces slide past each other, the bonds of the atoms, elements sticking together, are broken, and the energy from this bond breaking is primarily released in the form of heat. The stronger and more intense the friction, the greater the amount of heat released. People have utilized this to invent metal welding by friction. And don't forget that all atoms and elements stick together due to the electromagnetic force, in short, friction. This means rejecting the existence of friction is also rejecting the existence of the electromagnetic force, one of the four fundamental forces in nature. And it's not coincidental that electromagnetic force is called one of the fundamental forces in the universe. Electromagnetic force binds negatively charged electrons with positively charged atomic nuclei forming atoms. Electromagnetic force is also what creates chemical bonds connecting atoms, electrons, to form elements and complicated structures such as living being like you and me. In short, without electromagnetic force, there would be no atoms, the basic building blocks of everything in the universe. Without electromagnetic force, there would be no me, you, and everything around us. After watching the entire video, what do you think will happen if friction disappears, as structured by Omnicessory? Let us know your thoughts by commenting below. Do you agree with the content of this video? If you like this video, remember to like and share it enthusiastically. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any content from Omnicessory. And now goodbye and see you again.